Hello and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And if you're new here, thank you so much for coming. I'm so glad you're here. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you for coming back. It means the world to me. So today, as the title suggests, we are talking about uh, ways to use OutSchool to enhance your kids' education over the summer. Now, if you're anything like me, we tend to hibernate over the summer. We don't go out as much because there are people everywhere. So what are we going to do instead? Well, we talked about this a little bit in one of my previous videos, but one of the things that I am going to set up for my kids is escape rooms. Now, I could not write an escape room to save my life. However, there are several, and I say several, that's that's kind of underestimating it. There are loads of escape rooms on OutSchool. Now, I will state, as I do in all of my videos, that I do get... Um, I get OutSchool vouchers. Every time I do a video like this, I get OutSchool vouchers. And every time you use my code BEAL2024, uh, you get an OutSchool voucher, $20 or £15-ish, you know, up and down with the um, exchange rate. But when you use my code, I also get uh, more vouchers. And seeing, as I mentioned in my previous video, one of my previous videos, my husband is currently unemployed. Um, this keeps my children's education consistent. It means that, that they won't uh, miss out because we are poorer than we were a little while ago. So we're going to talk about which escape rooms that we are going to give a go this summer. And if you would like to do it, um, maybe you will, your children will be in the same one as us. And that would be really cool. So let's get into it. So uh, first of all, we're going to do Charles. Now I have included a little picture for in, in, in every class I'm going to talk about. I'm going to include the um, like their little thumbnail that they have for the class to make it easier for you to find. And I've also put the links in the description. Um, so you just so you can like make sure it's the right one. OK, so for Charles, uh, the first one is, an es is, as I said, these are all escape rooms, six escape rooms. And this is an escape room called Vet Files. It's literally called Escape Room Vet Files. And it's by a teacher called Kid Vet LLC. Uh, this is suitable for nine to 13 year olds. And Charles is 12. So that's he's, he's kind of right in there. And it's 12 pounds. It's 12 pounds for 45 minutes. That's cheaper than a real life escape room, isn't it? Um, and I just get, get my laptop. I'm going to read a little bit of the description for you so you can see ahead of time. If this is going to be something that you want to do, excuse me. So, so this is, uh, there, it's designed in mind with children who would like to be vets, veterinary technicians, vet nurse, zoo keepers, etc. Um, and it says and explains that in vets, in vet, in veterinary school, vet students learn about all kinds of animal species and each week they will do a um a different animal so you're learning about lots of different animals so they've got things like reptiles pandas dogs and cats um calves dogs uh, equ equines and it's a different um a different illness every single time and i'm there's there's talking about she says she's not a licensed vet however she's going to be diagnosing real animals you're just going to be diagnosing imaginary animals which sounds amazing and there's a couple of classes that on all of these classes by the way will um they have uk suitable times so these classes are in the evenings uh, i'm looking at it right now it says tuesday and saturdays so it seems great to me these are live live this one is a live one it's not like a flex class where you just do it at your leisure it will be live with a teacher going through it with you so there we go so the next one for charles is he loves a bit of history and he's really interested in the titanic uh, we did a project on it recently and he really loved it and um after after the whole like um titan sub thing we did a project on it and um a couple of months afterwards and he was just really interested in the whole like why on earth would you go down in a tin can to see what is essentially a graveyard um and like that's that was his thoughts um he was like what um and after that he was really interested in the titanic so this would be right up his street um and it is escape a murder mystery on the titanic the teacher is called i'm gonna mess up her surname um if you if she finds this and watches it please i apologize and correct me i stand corrected and i will practice saying it uh, melanie Wianco is how I'm going to guess her name, name is spelled. It's for 11 to 16 year olds. So Charles is at the lower end of age for that. 13 pounds and 55 minutes long. And in the description, it says that you will take, each student will take on a role of a character involved in the murder. Together, they will work out 
work to figure out who was responsible for the murder by analysing clues, solving puzzles and playing a character. They will experience a traditional escape room experience with the twist that they will have a script to read for their character and that they will have to figure out who the murderer is. Um, so five minutes of introductions and explanations, 45 minutes to escape and solve the murder and five minutes to conclude. Um, and they will be given the script ahead of time. So again, these are all British um, times. So you've got Thursday, Monday, Thursday and Monday evenings. Um, and at the moment, none of the seats are filled. So if you have a teenager, I think I'm going to sign Giles up for this one if you can get if we can get other people for it. So um, I will put the link in the description. And um, hey, if your child's 11 to 16, let's sign them up. Let's do a let's do a Titanic escape room. I think that would be really fun. Moving on to Bessie. Bessie is 10. And again, I, I have picked these based on what my kids would like. So um, if, you've, if you're going, my child's 10, they wouldn't like that. You can go onto the out school website and you can um, you can click age and you can just put 10 and then you can go through it and um, and you it's all there. You'll be able to find um, the ones that suit your child. So the first one, Bessie loves maths. Um, she's she just when we were on dog walks, doubles numbers for fun. Um, and uh, so when I saw The Kitty Cat Detective Social Club by Mary Ravenwood, where you use math skills to create adventures and solve mysteries, I thought, well, <laughs> that sounds like it's gonna be right up her street. Um, uh, the, in the description, it says, my name is Detective Kitty Cat Meow McFluffy and I run the Kitty Cat Detective Agency International. <laughs> so cute um so yes it um it's escape room role-playing games adventures it's maths based um and it's a social club so there's plenty of time for children to talk and that's bessie likes that she likes ones where there's a good chance to have a chat um, these are in the evenings again tuesdays and wednesdays uh, that i can see on the available times there may be more available times but it's 15 pounds per week and uh, for 40 minutes and it's for ages 8 to 11 oh here we go tuesdays wednesdays fridays and saturdays and oh and mondays so there's plenty there's there's loads absolutely loads of classes um, and loads of seats available um, so I think that's really, really fun. And she's put a list in the description of all of the previous adventures that they've done. And they are so varied. Um, I'm impressed. I... It says, if you love cats and mysteries, you will love the Kitty Cat Detective Agency International. So there we go. The next one I found for Bessie is a zoo escape room uh, by a teacher called Stephanie Gonzalez. And it's for six to 10 year olds. So she's kind of on that higher end again. And it's 16 pounds, so slightly more pricey than some of the others. And it's for 50 minutes, but again, it's longer than some of the others, so. And the uh, description here, let's wait for the webpage to load. Um, it says students will follow a fictional story, transforming them into students who went to a class field trip to the zoo and ended up getting locked inside the zoo. Students will work together solving codes, riddles and looking for clues to get out of the zoo before dark. Simultaneously, students will zoo learn zoo facts and animal facts. Um, they have classes uh, Sunday, Saturday, Tuesday and Mondays and they are all in times. With, there's a couple of them that are like... Um, 3 a.m., 11 p.m., 9 p.m. So they will not be suitable for British learners unless you have a, uh, there's one that's 5 a.m. that will not be suitable uh, for us over here in the UK because we're all asleep. Uh, however, there are 5 p.m., 7 p.m., 3 p.m. There's plenty of options uh, for us Brits. Let's move on to Albert. So for Albert, who is seven, I have got two up here and I'm going to get them up here straight away uh, to try and trying to get ahead of ourselves so the first one is a pokemon inspired escape room by a teacher called allison um it's for five to seven year olds so he's right on that upper end um it'll be the first escape room he has ever done so i think that won't i won't hold that against the class because i think that'll be it'll be it'll build his confidence it's 12 pounds for 35 minutes and if your seven year olds are anything like mine um they do need less time he does struggle in a longer class um, she's one of the few teachers I've seen that says if you're the only one enrolled I will still run the class a lot of teachers don't um, keep the child enrolled they keep the class going sorry if there's only one enrolled 
Um, she says she prefers two, but she's happy to run it with one. So Ash and Misty are on a new adventure in the Kanto region. During their journey, they discover that an important Pokeball containing a rare Pokemon has gone missing. It's up to Ash, Misty, Pikachu and their friends to solve the mystery, find the missing Pokeball and save the rare Pokemon before it's too late. So um, that um, that seems very cool. She also does have flex classes, so it's an escape room they can do in their own time. Uh, I think for £12, that's an absolute absolute bargain and that one has um at the moment it only has one class available on a friday about 7 p.m um but um if i mean if your kids are anything like mine they're not going to sleep at 7 p.m uh this when the weather is this sunny uh, all the way to like 10 p.m isn't it sometimes so that wouldn't be a huge problem in our house um, and Albert loves Pokemon, he's obsessed. And the final one that I've got for Albert, because he loves history, is Escape Pompeii by a teacher called Katie Schlesinger. Is that how you pronounce it? It's for six to ten year olds, so he's at the lower end of this one. It's seven pounds. Seven pounds, which means if you did two of classes, of classes um, like this, you would get them both free with my voucher. And then my kids can go and do two. Uh, it's 30 minutes. So it's cheap, it's cheap and cheerful. It's not going to take too long. And the description says, um, in this, in this exciting escape room style class, learners will learn all about the ancient city of Pompeii, the history, interesting facts, famous landmarks, and of course, its ultimate demise due to the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. They will work to escape the city and making it safety by answering questions correctly. Uh, each question they answer correctly gets learner one, one step further out of harm's way, but watch out because a wrong answer can send you down a dangerous path. Dun, dun, dun. And that is, as I said, seven pounds. Uh, seven pounds. Seven pounds. It's amazing. And it's uh, on a Friday. Is one of the available times. Seven fifteen. So it is a little bit later, but you can uh, request another time on all of these classes. If there isn't a time that works for you, you can request another time. And obviously, at the discretion of the teacher, they can say whether or not that would work for them. But most of the time, they're very accommodating. Um, uh, so there we go. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you sign up your kids for this class. I'm going to take this list to my children and say, which one would you like to do and get them to pick one? Um, because every time, as I said, every time someone uses my code and every time I do a video like this, I get vouchers for out school and then my kids get to have their education enhanced um, to like, and it makes them really, really happy. And anything that makes my kid happy, kids happy is worth me doing. So here we are. I'm going to go now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember to say it this time and check out my, check out OutSchool, check out, check it out using my code BEAL2024 and uh, let, leave, leave a comment. Let me know which class you think your child would like. And if you have gone on to OutSchool and maybe none of these are suitable and you found one that is, let me know what it is. So my kids can try it too, because I'm always up for it. And we are desperately trying to find some fun things to do over the summer. I'm going to book up some really cool classes for them. And uh, yeah, especially on days when it might, when it looks like it's going to rain. Because you know what the British summer's like. It's not going to be hot all summer, is it? And some days it might be too hot for them to go outside because one of my kids burns like a peach, burns like a, peach, burns like a lobster um, as soon as it's um, over a certain temperature. So we might need to stay in a little bit more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye.